ready to go camping? Are you ready to go camping? Should we so show the people what you have in your bag? This is just your bag to go, but your bigger bag is in the car, okay? We have a harness with the whistle. Go explore, okay? She's not really loving wearing this, but um, she is my cat, but she's not my cat, and I really, really love her, and I don't want to lose her. And then we have a cute collar, okay? She's got plenty of name tags. Um, I put some tape over this so people cannot see. Yeah, she is not interested, but look at how cute this is. Super cute. And this is her seatbelt. And what else do we have? We have this leash. I don't think we're gonna go for walks because she, it's not gonna be pleasant weather. And just some treats. And we have the rest of her stuff in the car. So, Lila Lou. Lila, you wanna go camping? Okay. Okay, I hope that you like it. We're gonna make it a really positive experience. Right, right. So, once I finish loading the car, I will come back in. She loves rubber bands and put her harness on her. Huh, Lila Lou? Oh, she's such a sweet girl. She's such a sweet girl, huh? And we made it inside the car. Now, I'm going to explain a little bit how we got here. And that is when I found this sweet little girl out the back of my mother's home. She was very matted and very underweight. And my mom was said that she was the neighbor's cat, but she says he takes really good care of his animals. And we were surprised why she was in the condition she was. And so she just kept coming around and my mom was the first to feed her. And then I just couldn't let her go with all those mats and stuff. So I began to get them all out. And over time I did. Having a hard day and decided to come outside and this cat just hanging out here and it's all matted around its neck so I'm gonna brush it. I saw it the other day and so I went and picked up a brush. Come here Kiki. But I need to cut out some of the mats, the matted hair. Just a nice kitty. It's really friendly, really friendly. But like here, there's a big map. It's a nice kitty. Mm. I'm gonna cut some of these out. See how well it lets me. It's got really sharp claws. That's not even all of her mats. She's a sweet, sweet kitty. If you have been familiar with my channel, I've been prepping my car for more travel and I decided kind of last minute, I just could not leave her behind. So I'm hoping that she will become a travel kitty with me, hopefully. And so a couple weeks ago we started sleeping in my tent and out in the backyard because she follows me everywhere anytime i was working on this car putting stuff in it putting it together she would be outside 
sitting on the porch or in the garage or wherever, she'd be near me. And we have a little helper who's followed me out. She doesn't want to let me out of her sight, but she does not like cars. Hi, sweet girl. Okay, yeah, there she goes. And she's off. So when, when I slept in the tent, she stayed with me the whole night. I, I'm sure she was like, what the heck are we doing? But we just slept right outside the door. She could go in inside if she wanted, but she stayed with me the whole night. Then the other, earlier this week, we did a test run and slept in the car. That was not a restful night's sleep at all. We only lasted two hours because she just kept walking and walking and walking around. But she would sit down and stuff like she is right now. So I think that's kind of why she is somewhat calm because she we were in here a couple hours the other night. And then I also spray some of this before we get in the car. There was a, a really good calming spray on Amazon, but it had lavender in it. And from what I saw, lavender is not good for uh, cats. So this, I don't know, maybe this is working as well. But, um, so the top here, and I'll show that a little later, the top here is where her bed is going to be. But she has her harness on, and I do not want to lose her at all. So I have this whistle tracker. She's not loving. Um, but she is seat belted in. As you can see, she, she's just up here on the bed. And then I put her bed down there because the other night when we were sleeping in here, or trying to, she seemed to kind of like to sit on that blue chair. You know, she is just all a new environment for her. So this is just a test run to see how she takes to it. Uh, I'm gonna try my hardest to hopefully get her to take to this. She's a Norwegian forest cat and they're very adaptable if you make the environment you know, if you kind of cater to them, which I feel like I've done. And she's just so, I just love her so much. She's, she's so sweet. And she pretty much is with me all the time, even though she's the neighbor, next door neighbor's cat. No, they do not know about this. Um, she's with me every night. And, you know, if they want her back, if they find out and they want her back, then fine, I'll bring her back. But she's going to be depressed. Uh, she will just be looking. You can't force a cat, even though that's kind of what I'm trying to do right now, you can't force a cat, you know, to be with who they, whoever, you know, they don't want to be with, if I said that correctly. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I am going to go get myself a treat from Hallie because she's working. So we're going to do that because Lila has a treat. She is hungry. It is dinner time. So we're going to feed her when we get to our destination. It's only about 15, 20 minutes away. I'm not sure I'm, I'm going to go exactly where I wanted to. Um, just because it's late, of course, and the weather. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's just sitting down. She's sitting down, hanging out. So we're going to head over to Hallie's now. Uh, yeah, this is going to be an adventure. New adventures with Rachel. We're on the move. I have driven with her in the car once before just to try it out and she was not about it. She really does not like cars so hopefully I can associate vehicles with good things and lots of treats. She's really not interested in her treats right now at all. Um, but you know, we're just gonna take it easy and Customers for one hour and it's raining. So I went to Maverick and I got treats. And this little miss, um, I initially thought that the seatbelt was too short, but I think it might be a little too long. So I actually went into Maverick and I got a snack. Okay. These are the best. This is 
a West Coast thing. Well, like Utah, I have seen Maverick in the northern border, like northern Arizona. And then also, probably my new fave, Major Melon, zero calorie. Oh my gosh. So good. So she's, she is meowing. She's not meowing as loudly as the first time that um, we went on a car ride. Okay. But, you know. Uh, it is packed, even though it is raining where I was going to go. It's Friday night. I was going to go last night, but of course, everything was taking way too long to get my car situated. Seriously, and now this car is going to come on this trail, and I was going to take Lila to go potty. Because she's an outdoor cat, and she goes to the bathroom outside. This is fine. If somebody tells me to move, okay, fine. The cat and I will move. Come on. Good girl. Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's go outside. Gonna feed you. Can we feed you? Yeah. This is gonna be okay. I need a. This is a good trial run because I definitely need some place to hook this onto. Which that's for my keys, but I could get a bigger thing to hook that onto. I had a hook right here and I'm glad I removed that because she's up and down up and down and then eventually this will there be it will be a shelf on this it goes over the real well just for some extra storage okay let's feed you so she's just sitting down there here's her dish and we're gonna some of this. This is really not her dinner, but it is a snack because she is doing something very different. So here's her water. Do you want your water? Yeah? Do you want your water? Whoopsie. Okay. Am I doing this the wrong way? Of course, yes, I am. Here's your water. And what's nice about this is that it has a lid. So when I travel, I can cover it, you know, or I can dump it out, but I can cover it. My one concern is keeping it cool. So we'll see, but we'll go ahead and open this up. Hi, Lila. Hi, my Lila. Want your food? Want your food? Sweet girl. Okay, you go. Oh, you like this. Let's see if you like it when you're in a new location. 
Here, Lila. See? Lila. Oh, it smells good. Here you go. Is that nummy nummy? Come on. Come on. Here, Lila. Here, sweet girl. Here, sweet girl. Want your food? So this is one of the accessories these come with. Um, I could probably get a bigger one and I can put one on the front too because I bought two sets of these. So I'll probably get a bigger carabiner and then that way I can hook that onto it and it won't go anywhere. Um, this will probably, this leash will probably be for when I'm walking her and then I have a bigger leash, not the seatbelt one, for when I am, maybe we're just hanging out like this. She's hanging out. I just brought her dish to her. Cause she's just like, what the heck is going on? So this is what we're doing now. Hi, huh, sweet girl. Good kitty. Um, it's kind of a little bit baptism by fire. Don't mind my hair. It's, you know, doing its thing. Had a lot going on today, but I took her outside again to see if she wanted to go to the bathroom. She did not. But she likes to look out there, so I'm leaving the back open for right now. I'm get, getting used to the elements. Um, the bathroom situation is going to be interesting. I mean, I guess if she pees in here, she pees in here. I do have a waterproof pad on this mattress, so yeah. Um... I mean, she seems to be okay. Right, Lila? Yeah. I'll have to set the camera up over by her. See what she's got going on. She can hear all the birdies. All the birdies. Are you such a good kitty? Do you need to go potty yet? Sorry. You can see what's going on out here. I'll turn it down a little bit. Because you have better eyesight than all of us. You need to go potty. I'm a nice girl. Yeah. These are good girls. Hey, Lila.
We are going to get ready for bed. Lila's doing okay. Come on, Lila. She doesn't eat any more of her food from when I fed it to her down here. She loved sitting back there and looking out. I left the tailgate open for a long time and then I think the rain just became too much for her. So I'm tempted to take the harness off of her, but I just, I doubt she'll want to get up to go to the bathroom. Yeah, cat hair everywhere. So we are going to go to bed soon. Where did I put my medication? Yeah, I just kind of threw stuff together. She liked sitting on my lap. She was actually purring at one point. And I pulled my stuff out to get ready for bed and I have these bins under here and she crawled in one. So I put her blanket. Yep, she has a little blanket. So cute, just from Petco. So I put her blanket in there and then I got out a towel. She And she got in there, but then I was putting in a towel to make it more of a cave for her. Maybe she'd like it. Um, and she hasn't gotten back in it yet. She's just sitting outside of it, but uh, I'm going to take my medication. It's about, yeah, excuse me. It's after 10. I think I will take her harness off of her. She's being so good. She's, I mean, she is such a good cat. She's sweet. Can we take this off you? Yeah. Okay, we can take this off you. She's never hissed at me, tried to bite me. She's just so sweet, huh, Lila? Huh, should we take this off you? There you go. There you go. Is that better? Is that better? I'll show you the little bed setup we have down here for her. I don't know if she'll get in it, but... It'll be interesting to see where she sleeps. She can sleep in her bed right here, but I'll probably move this down on the blue. Yeah, I don't know where she'll want to sleep. It's gonna be, I think, in the 60s tonight. Looks like she's kind of relaxing. I'll have to bring my cat hair eraser. It works really well. But yeah, this is just one of the bins. It's gonna be my storage, food storage slash clothing slash I don't know what maybe. This will be Lila's area. And then I'll take this back up here, but I will leave her food back there just so it's out of the way and she can get to it. Um, or maybe I'll move it a little forward. I don't know. But yeah, she's just hanging out. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girls. Should we put you in here and see if you like it? Okay, let's see if you like it. Here's your harness off, huh? You, you wanna go in there? Go in there. There you go. There you go. Good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah. There you go. Do you like it? Is that nice? Is that nice for you? Oh yeah, she likes it. She really likes it. Of course, you put together this whole nice bed and she wants to sleep in a plastic bin. Is that so nice, Lila? Do you like it? Okay. We'll leave you in there for now, huh? Hi, sweet kitty. Yeah. So the rain has just stopped. You look really cozy. 
So we're going to say good night now. Good night. Miss Lila, how did you sleep? Hmm. She did pretty well. Except at four in the morning, she thought that she was going to get up. She was pretty obsessed with what was, whatever was going on outside. Birds chirping. Blah, blah, blah. I'm tired. She did pretty good, though. She, um... She just slept pretty much on top of me the whole night. It was chilly. And, uh, I should have got out my, oh, excuse me, I should have got out my, uh, or her heating pad. What time is it? Seven o'clock. Okay. So. Oh. Lila, I will put on my pants and then we'll go outside, okay? Okay, Lila? Ooh, it's cold out there. the temperature 40 degrees Lila is 40 degrees should we show the people we'll show the people people can we see this it is okay can we see that it's Saturday May Eighth Mother's Day is tomorrow. I'm gonna do a little something special for my mom. I thank her for being so good to me during this time. And okay, where is the leash? Is it in here? No. Of course not. Wait. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, let's pull up these pants so we can't see any butt crack. Ooh, it's cold out there, Lila. Lila, you wanna go to the you wanna go outside? You know, free girl? Wanna go outside? Okay. Lila. You wanna come outside? Huh? Huh, free girl? Oh, you shivering? Should we just go? Oh, you shivering? Are you a little freaked out right now? You wanna come outside? Okay, let's carry you for a minute and then let's see, okay? Okay. Ooh, I'm looking good, Lila. Looking good. Oh, we're looking good. We're looking good. Okay. Okay. Oh, the sun is bright. Okay. Okay. Are you shivering still? Yeah. I'm shivering. It's not even warm in the sun. Ugh. Excuse me. Oh, you're shivering. Are you scared? Listen, she's a Norwegian forest cat. She is not cold. She has a two coats. An undercoat and a water-resistant top coat. Okay? Okay, Lila. You see my, uh, there's my solar panels. Got to make a change to those. It's a little frustrating. Okay, do you want to get down? Okay, let's put you down. It's a good girl. 
Uh oh. What's happening? Oh. Okay. Let's go for it. Oh. Okay. I don't think she's wearing a backpack. This is what's happening. So we're just gonna go now, right, Lila? We're gonna go. Gonna get the seat situated back together. Look, there's my new pee thing. Isn't that great? That looks like a urinal. More on that later. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to go. We have little muddy paw prints everywhere, but isn't it so cute? Yep, that's where she is right now. Lila, do you wanna say goodbye? Hi, girl. Hi, sweet kitty. Okay. Thanks for watching. Um, we're going to attempt this again in not too long. So, hope you enjoy. My is my door shut? Oh, my windows are open. Whoa, what is happening? Chill. Windshield wipers. That's a cold morning. Okay. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for Mother's Day video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.